we were so excited about everything we got that we didn't even check PPG or anything like that because we are keeping these ones and we're going to use two as a day night type thing, all that stuff. But just out of curiosity and for more like, you know, letting everybody know how great the box was, uh, we did run the PPG numbers and it was just about double the value of what we paid for it. Yeah, that was insane. Hey, welcome back to Grown Kids TV with myself, Mike, and Lindsay. So we're filming this right after we just did our giveaway results for 333 subscribers. Now you can see how far ago that video was to see kind of where we are in doing this. Uh, but for this video, two spastic, and these are two pups each, they're $30 for each one. So a little bit more than that with shipping. And it was the hunt for a 480 piece Batman. So we'll see what we get. Yeah. Should be getting some sort of exclusives or stuff like that, so that would be good. Yeah. Uh, even if we don't get the Batman, so it's just it's sort of like a hit or miss box. Yeah. Right? I don't know if there's guaranteed value or anything. So our featured presentation of this video, we had our watcher reach out to us, Rob Pops, and he said, "Hey, you know, I was looking to buy some stuff. We sold him some stuff. We sent him some extra stuff, uh, just because he seemed like a really good guy." And now we got an Instagram friend out of it. Uh, and we talk every once in a while and he said, hey, you should go check out Zombies Garage. So we'll put a link to uh, his Instagram, put a link to Zombies Garage YouTube page. So go over to Zombies Garage YouTube page, we start watching that, and he opens a box from Funko Queen. So let me start going to Funko Queen's Instagram and seeing what she's got. And we contact her and we're like, hey, we saw that Zombies Garage had a mystery box. Can we get a mystery box as well? And we haven't got a themed mystery box except for when we do it to ourselves. Yep. Right? And Lindsay killed it the first time, and I killed it the second time. I still killed it the second time, too. She did all right. Yeah. I I don't know. I was really... It was you, like Christmas. You, yeah, yeah. You, it was you like Christmas more. where I got really excited about giving so much out. But, and then she got me Animal, which was amazing. <laughs> but, all that aside, this is our first that we paid for outside of us for a theme mystery box. Yeah. And she said, hey, what are some things that you liked? And I was like, hey, WWE, Disney, we like cute stuff. She's like, oh, Disney. I got some cute Disney stuff for you. And she even said that because there's two of us getting it, uh, that she might, I don't know, we haven't checked inside yet, might put a double in there, one for me, one for her, so we'll have to figure it out. So we're gonna put this one aside. Uh, and actually put both of these to the side. Yep, because we're gonna do the Featured Funko. Featured Funko. And? This one is in honor of our, uh, they're coming out with a new episode. And I am so excited. What is it? Next week, they're doing a, a reunion episode and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't wait. I'm freaking out about it. We still watch Parks and Rec to this day. Like even yesterday, I think we watched some Parks and Rec. Yeah. And I came home and Lindsay was watching the Parks and Rec bloopers reel. <laughs> and she was so distraught because she saw Leslie Nope swear in the blooper reel. It's not right. And it didn't seem right because she was still like in character dressed as Leslie Nope. But yeah, Lil' Sebastian is our featured phone call. That's a little bit harder one to get. We are going to put a link in the description for Amazon for other Parks and Rec. And sometimes you can find the more rare ones on Amazon as well. Yeah. So spastic. Let's get into these. Okay. So, I'll go first to see what we got. Okay. Oh. oh, it's Jay Balvin. And this time, we actually know who Jay Balvin is. Jay Balvin's a Columbia singer, very popular. Uh, we put this up for sale last time. We have got this before. We put it up for sale and immediately sold for like $23. And I think they're going for a little bit more than that, but $23 is yeah, pretty yeah, good for no a pop we've never heard of. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right. There is a chase of it too. This is a special two series. There is a chase. Not okay. In addition, there's a chase. John oh! Wick with his dog? That's awesome. I have not even seen the John Wick with his dog yet. I Me think, neither. I think I've seen the John Wick, right? Because there's a, a more expensive one, but with the dog? Oh. So adorable. We love ones with little <laughs> characters next to them. Like, oh, uh, the dog's so cute too. Yeah. That's an awesome pop. Yeah. 
All right. What is this guy? What? Fantastic Four Herbie? Okay. The Herbie robot from Marvel's Fantastic Four. Look how adorable that is. Yeah. And it is pretty exciting to see what is going to happen with the Marvel Universe now that uh, Marvel has control over everything and with Fantastic Four. So that is really exciting. But it's got the Herbie robot with little... Oh man, it's floating up there. Oh, that's pretty cute. That's so cute. Alright, last All one. Right. Whoa! Luther! Uh, I like it! It's a spastic plastic from Pop Funko limited edition Luther. That oh is really gosh. cool. That's so cute. My nephew would like this because he loves Halloween. <laughs> it's very Halloween-y. Halloween -y. <laughs> He's got his little his little shovel. Oh my god. Digging graves. So I'll go on the Funko app. And I'm gonna do Luther first and see. Okay. Fifteen dollars. Not bad. I like that character. Yeah. Herbie is seven dollars. So pretty common, but it's a common I've never seen before. Yeah. And John Wick is $17. So $32 back in my box. Jay Balvin is $29 on the Funko app. Uh, and yeah, we paid $30 for these. So we pretty much got our money back, but we got John Wick, this awesome Luther, uh, Herbie the Robot, and Jay Balvin, which will probably get us our money back uh, for one of the boxes pretty quick. Yeah. Not too shabby. Yeah. I had but no idea what to expect. Yeah, it's a hit or miss. So yeah. it's, we prefer the mystery boxes where you get like guaranteed value and stuff. But the hit or misses, you know, they're not too bad if they're from the bigger companies. Usually off eBay, not that great. Yeah, don't yeah, don't do those. Now we got this box from the Funko Queen. I'm so excited. I have no idea. So she said themed, cute stuff. We love Most cute likely stuff, Disney. So. I didn't even cut that at all on the thing. <laughs> You're cutting right towards yourself. You are not following your rules of cutting I, towards your Funko partner. I only went to, I only went to the Boy Scouts for one meeting <laughs> and then camping. Eventually over the entire series of my videos, we'll find out all my Boy Scout experience and eventually Which I'll tell none. Yeah, I'll tell all the stories of what we did in the Boy Scouts. We even had a uh, one of those like slingshots that they use at hockey games to throw like the shirts into the crowd. Mhm. Mm we put donuts in it, shot at people while we were camping. That was pretty fun. I went to jam camp and I made <laughs> ribbon things to pass out. I don't know what they were. I keep forgetting what they're called. But jam, 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 jam camp. Jam, jamborines. No, not no. Never mind. I think there's five total. Okay. So I went first last time, so I'm gonna turn to myself to keep my eyes above it. I also don't know which one to open first. Yeah, me neither. I'm gonna go with this one that's right here. Oh! <laughs> I gotta find this thing. Ow, that hurt. A little DIY Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse, do it yourself. Oh, this is so... There we go. I feel like we should find the artist that did Dumbo. Now you're just throwing my Dumbo. That did Dumbo and have him do Mickey Mouse. Because I, I want to do Mickey Mouse myself and I'm, we're probably going to. Or, yeah, or have the, the guy glitter it oh, like man. Buzz Lightyear's glittered. We can do so many cool things with that. But we're probably going to try to do it ourselves. I think that's yeah. the right thing to do. Yeah, I agree. All right. So two soft protectors. I wonder if, let me just take this one out. I didn't expect this. I th oh. <laughs> I thought maybe the Mickey Mouse Do It Yourself was gonna be like the double so we could each do one. Uh-huh. And maybe it is, I don't know, because I haven't seen. But Pusheen! Oh my gosh. It's the unicorn one. We love Pusheen. Uh, our friend's daughter was a big Pusheen fan. I don't know if she still is, right? It's been a couple years and the kids just in and out of phases. Yeah, yeah. But uh, oh. yeah, we've bought her a number of things and so now we like Pusheen. <laughs> And seeing Pusheen right there, that's really awesome. Oh my goodness. And we've seen a few of these at the mall. And we've been like, oh my gosh! <laughs> Alright. 
Oh, the Mickey is in a sock collector. Okay. Yep. Okay. So you can go ahead and take the one closest to you. <gasps> oh! It's the army man from Toy Story. It looks like it says uh, from Toy Story Land. Maybe the opening. Oh, wow. The grand opening in 2018 box lunch exclusive. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. We don't have him. We, I haven't even seen Army Man. I've seen him on like on TV and stuff on the internet looking for stuff, but I don't think I've ever seen one in person because I've bought Lindsay a lot of these. Yeah. Uh, we have Woody. We have uh, Mrs. Nesbitt, Buzz Lightyear. Oh yeah, we do. <laughs> uh, I paid up for. What did we buy that was expensive? Maybe none of them. Um, I bought. I don't know. I bought Buzz her Slinky Lightyear. Dog, I bought her Buzz Lightyear, I got Buzz Lightyear Diamond Edition, the fake glitter Diamond <laughs> Edition, uh, but awesomely done, custom job. Oh man, but yeah, That's Army Man. That's awesome. And not only is it Army Man, but it's it's almost like a metallic, it's very yeah. shiny, but it's the grand opening box lunch Toy Story Land exclusive. Oh, I want to go to Toy Story Land. I'm very sad that they're closed right now. <laughs> Not that I'd be going right now anyway, but... <laughs> yeah, we should probably make plans. You know, I, I get some vacation time. We should probably take some vacation. All right, so next box. Okay, I was right. It is a Mickey awesome. do-it-yourself, and that's a great idea. So now we can't we can't uh, contract these out to somebody. We can have like a little, a right. little Mickey Mouse date night DIY paint session. <laughs> <laughs> One time, we uh, we went out on the front bench and we needed a big desk and we bought a desk for five dollars from a garage sale. And best we thought, five dollars. Yeah, ever. best five dollars. <laughs> we thought, how can we spice this up? So we painted it and painted. Well, first we researched. Yes. Then we went out and bought a bunch of paints and we made it a galaxy print. And yep. We did like a test site on one of the sides of it and then the whole thing and then put it in the room and had it set up and it was really really cool. Uh, so. I think that would be a great idea to go out on the bench with Mickey and the other Mickey, maybe watch some videos on other people doing stuff, get some yeah. ideas, and then do it. That's such a great idea. That really is. So this this is already worth it from Pashina Corn. The two Mickey do it yourselves for a great date night type thing. Army Man, and then there's one last one. It's in it's in bubble wrap inside here. Oh. So Lindsay, you go ahead oh, and Oh, for it. me? I don't know. Let's find out. No, I meant like yeah, for me to open it. Well, just take it out. Lindsay. I'm not looking. There's a lot of tape. That's good though. Do 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 do. Copyrighted for Jeopardy. <laughs> they can take our zero money we made for the video. Yeah. I should just like move real fast so when this is in fast motion. All right. <gasps> oh my gosh! It's Rex! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I have been wanting Rex for so long and I keep thinking. Oh man, I hope we get Rex. I hope it's Rex. I hope it's Rex. And I'm like saying it in every single video and I'm like freaking out right now. Oh my gosh. This is Rex. We Oh, ev oh yeah, like Lindsay said, almost every, we didn't even like put it up in the almost every video. Lindsay has been like, man, I really want Rex. Alright guys, let's hope this is Rex. <laughs> Rex from Toy Story. So hopefully. Yeah, Rex from Toy Story, that would be. Oh my gosh, I'd be so excited. Lindsay's been trying to get that one for a while <laughs> in, a, in a mystery box. It's Probably Rex. Rex. I was thinking, I hope we get Rex, but I'm always thinking that, so, you know, that's yeah. just a rule of thumb, you know, it's just every, a general. Thing. Every mystery box, we assume it's Rex. Yeah. One day we'll actually get Rex and it'll be amazing. From that, like, they show the initial picture, and Rex is always in there somewhere. Yeah. And we oh got it, gosh. and we had no idea we were gonna get it. No, I'm so excited. Oh, man. You know what this does, though? This ruins themed boxes forever from anyone else. Because this is probably the best themed box yeah. we could ever get. Yeah. 100%. Oh, my goodness. 
I didn't realize how heavy this was gonna be. He has a huge head. Big, yeah, and little arms. <laughs> big dome piece Rex, that's what they call him. No he doesn't know him. how he's gonna press start and the jump button at the same time. <laughs> I don't remember what the, oh what the exact wording was. But. Like, what are the odds you got Rex? Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out! Funko Queen, thank you so much! Thank you, this is so amazing. I, Better than I can even yeah. put into words. Right I didn't now. think it was going to be like that. I thought we were going to get a pretty fun box that was going to make us smile. But I didn't think we were going to get this. So please, uh, go check her Instagram out. Yeah. She also does a lot of raffles. Um, I'm not sure exactly how it works. I'm not great with math. You've seen it in the past. <laughs> but uh, I think you know a number of people, like 10 or so people, however many people, uh, pay into it. And then one person wins it or something. Yeah. And she always has really great stuff. So go check that stuff out. Uh, yeah, follow her on Instagram. Uh, maybe figure out if you can get a, a custom box. Because this is the best Rex and Army Man. Uh, so we did tell her Disney. Uh, she might have. I wonder if she went and watched some videos and maybe saw Lindsay going, Oh man, I really want to wreck so much. <laughs> yeah, that she might. She might have. That is, this is the greatest custom box oh from gosh. not each other that we could probably ever get. For real though. I want to say that we ever had got, but uh, mm. we've only got this one. Oh my goodness. We have a Smy World box coming up next in our next video. It's sitting over to my side. It's or... not even gonna compare. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Is like Smy World's awesome, and we're just like, nah. Now I don't even want to open it. I got because... Rex. Yeah, Rex. I'm good. I'll go to bed now. Oh man. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Understand Ooh. that the excitement that we did see is actually still, even though we displayed excitement, it's still like ten times more than that. Great. Now I need all of them. <laughs> I mean. Uh, yeah, there's oh only God, a few it's... more difficult ones to get. Yeah, Ham. Ham, look. I'm Picasso. You know what I really want is the giant Buzz Lightyear. Oh my gosh, the... It's only, I want the it's only one... 200 to $300. I want the one that has the Zerg with him. And it's like, it's a limited edition piece, oh. but it's a giant one with Zerg. I wonder if that's like the six hundred dollar one. There's like, oh, it's it's the expensive. There's like, there's expensive like a three hundred one. one, then like a six hundred, and like a three thousand dollar. Either way, like I want at least one. Yeah, I agree. Remember when we were excited for John Wick, and then we opened this box? Oh my gosh! But John Wick does have a cute puppy with him. So John Wick does have a cute puppy. Pasheen, super cute. Oh my goodness. Date night, and then we thought we killed it with the <gasps> army man. And then moved on to Rex. I didn't expect that. Me neither. Oh my gosh. I feel like we opened like, you know, got the top hit on something and I'm <laughs> in that like that mode where I'm just going, going, going. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know what else to say. Uh, now we gotta message her on Instagram and tell her how amazing she is. And that in maybe three weeks we'll be able to she'll be able to see the video. <laughs> yeah. We'll try, we'll try to pump some videos out. All right, so we just got done finishing the Funko Queen video. We were so excited about everything we got that we didn't even check PPG or anything like that because we are keeping these ones and we're gonna use two as a day night type thing, all that stuff. But just out of curiosity and for more like, you know, letting everybody know how great the box was, uh, we did run the PPG numbers and it was just about double the value of what we paid for it. Yeah, that was insane. I mean, Rex alone. Yeah, was... Rex was pretty much the price of the box. And <laughs> and that was just one pop. Like what a great great box. Uh just over overwhelmed with joy right now. Yeah, like I I don't know what to say. <laughs> All right. Uh yeah, it's been a, it's we just opened it, but it's been a little while and we're still like kind of coasting down from it. All right. So, back to the show, we just want to let you know uh, that the, not only was were well, the pops great, but the value was amazing. Yeah. All right, thanks. So, like we've said before, we do mystery boxes from literally all over the place. Like, all different companies, different people, small ones, like... Yeah, networking. I just bought one uh, from a gentleman on Instagram who commented on one of our videos. I uh, don't know much about it, but it's showing up <laughs> soon. I uh, paid about $20, $25, something like that. So yeah, if you guys know somebody who does uh, mystery boxes like Funko Clean, uh, who have a good reputation, 
hey, let us know. Yeah. And don't forget to subscribe. See us opening all these random mystery boxes that are awesome. And if you guys love Toy Story Pops as much as I do, or even like a fraction as much as I do, hit the like button and let me know. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.